talking of the different styles, the most important is Gayaki and Tantrakari. Many schools believed that they have to reproduce exactly what the boys did. So they would play compositions that were sung in the, in the, in the vocal music. They would play the Raga Alapana exactly like it is sung in the vocal music. So this was a style. This style gave a lot of importance to the left hand. Now, there is a style that is called Tantrakari, which is very instrumental, which gives a lot of importance to the right hand, where the instrumentation of that particular piece of melody was important. If you take Mysore Bani, there were a lot more plucking, meter. And then more use of the thalam strings. You will hear them um, in between, filling the gaps. And then thanam is very specific to this style. And they never pulled along the strings. They played across the fret. The reason for that being, the top board of the Mysore Veena was very thin. And when you pull, the string puts a pressure on the bridge and it will sink in. The tone is beautiful, but the top board was very thin. Now in the Tanjaur Bani, the top board was very thick. And there are these two small things with little holes and this center thing that brings out the Nadam. A lot of pulling was happening in the left hand and the plucking was only when needed. When there is a sahityam or lyri lyrical syllable, then we would put a pluck. That is the Tanja Urbani. And the Andhra Bani, where a lot of music was played on the Bobbili Veena, high speed thanams, very sweet tone, very, very sweet tone. And a lot of practice. There was a great musician called Veena Venkatramana Das. He did what is known as Vei Sadakam. He practiced from night till early morning. Um, he waited for the moon to rise and set. And um, he would practice the Alankarams in three octaves, in three speeds, continuously. If you take the Mysore Bani, you had the great Veena Sheshana. And then who else? Veena Subbana. And? Doraswami Iyengar. Doraswami Iyengar, sir, was a very great propagator of the Mysore Bani. If you take the Tanjaur Bani, you had the Karekudi brothers. And then, of course, Veena Dhanamal, who tuned her Veena to a very high pitch because she used to sing along with it. And, um, of course, several, uh, my own guru, Srimati Padmavati Anantha Gopalanji, was a uh, uh, propagator of the Tanja Urbani, which was very vocal based. And um, several great musicians, Dr. S. Balachandra sir had his own Bani. He created what is known as the Balachandra Bani, which was a combination, but he was known for pulling the strings. He would pull up to seven notes in one fret to bring in the continuity. So his style was very unique. And then in the Andhra Bani, of course, I told you about Veena Venkatram Nadas and Emani Shankara Shastri Garu. And then his very illustrious disciple, Chitti Babu Garu. What all he innovated on the Veena. K.S. Narayan Swami, sir, from the Kerala Bani. The Kerala Bani, very much like the Tanjavur Bani, but their venas were broader and uh, much as they would give the gamakams, they also specialized in the right hand technique and they did not have much of a decoration on these venas. So now people usually ask how many types of venas are there? There are several types of venas in the sense, but the vena that is practiced in the south of India is called the Saraswati vena. Now, there is also a misconception that there is a vena called Ekantha vena. The word is Ekanda means, Akanda means unending. Ekanda means in one piece. So there are Venas that are made in three pieces. This is one piece, 
the stem one piece, the neck one piece. When you scoop out a whole veena out of one piece of wood, it's called a ekanda veena, not ekanta. Ekanta means peaceful. Every veena is generally, hopefully, peaceful. <laughs> but ek, this particular veena is half ekanda. This whole thing is one piece, and this is one piece. So generally, veenas are three pieces. You know, um, the way they used to make is in the big temples, they would tie the temple bell on the jackfruit tree. And for years on, that bell would keep ringing during the puja five times a day. And then the resonance of that wood will get onto the wood of the tree and that tree will be cut. Even the mridangam is made out of jackfruit tree wood. The veena is also made out of that. So then the demand changed. Nowadays we make even out of drumstick wood. So the demand is there so much for the veena, the veena. Um, so when people ask, are there many practitioners? You go to a Veena store, he'll tell you that it's out of stock, 20 waiting list. So that's the uh, demand there is for this instrument. Of course, the ghatam, you know, is made out of jackfruit tree wood. <laughs> the ghatam is an instrument that is made out of the five natural elements. The clay, the water, kept in fire, ether inside and when he plays the air that comes out the five it's such a special instrument the ghatam and it's not the regular clay pot we see there's some uh, iron ore and metal fillings that is put into creating this particular each ghatam is a shruti krishna ji has about 40 to 50 ghatams or 100 ghatams in your house he lives outside So uh, each ghatam is in one pitch and uh, such beautiful stories when you double click each instrument's history and that is what this journey called Quest is all set out to do, this, uh, this edition that's coming out by um, the first edition arts. This is the journey they are trying to capture through focusing on these different instruments. So, we'll now play Ragam Shanmukapriya. Are you okay with that? We'll play a Ragam Alapana and Thanam that is very specific to the Veena. Now, we won't stick to any, we won't say, we wouldn't trouble our mind and see, is this this Bani, is this Mysore, this is Andhra. Let's get the voice of the Veena out. So, not when I say Gayaki, not like a human voice, but the voice of the Veena that comes out in the ragam and tanam and we will play our composition based on traditional compositions and do a little bit of improvisation and then you will see the wonderful dialogue between Jai Chandra Raoji and Trichy Krishna Swamiji. Ragam Shanvakapriya. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
บายสบายสบาย